So here we are given thin round parallel plates, each of radius r, like this, and separated by a small distance, surface charge density is sigma and minus sigma, and we need to find the potential in electric field because of this pair of small disks. So here you need to watch question number 3.44. Just go and watch that video first if you have not done it yet, because this question we are not doing any calculations, we will directly get our answers using the result which we derived in question 3.44. So we are going to use the principle of superposition here. So this, these disks we can write them as infinite plates plus, plus uh, the negative charges without the disk. <laughs> Just look at them and I am sure you will get what we are doing here. I, I don't know how to explain this. So this can be represented at this plus this. So they are overlapping, right? So we have replaced it with two parallel sheets plus a flipped sheets from <laughs> flipped sheets with holes from question number 3.44. So there we had a sheet with holes, but there the positive charge was on, was on the top. So here we are inversing inverting the charges. So the sheets will be flipped. Now to get our answers, so we need to find electric field and potential. So electric field because of this pair of sheets at a distance x. So here they are given the x is much greater than r. So we are not talking about the gap. What's we are not talking about the field between the gaps. We are talking about field outside these plates. So due to the complete plates outside the field will be zero. So only field will be due to the flipped sheets. So answer for the normal sheet in the previous question was negative of this quantity. So here the sheets are flipped. So answer will be positive of this quantity. So our electric field will be plus of this quantity. Now potential is a bit tricky, but still we are going to use the same concept. So due to full parallel plates, only potential is due to the field between the plates. See outside the field is zero. So because of outside region, there is no change in potential. So we are only talking about complete sheets now. This part will, I'll talk it about, about it in a moment. For now, I am only talking about the complete sheets. So if you have a pair of complete sheets outside the electric field is zero and potential difference is zero if you take any two points outside the region. Inside, we have electric field and its value is sigma by epsilon. Sigma by two epsilon because of this, sigma by two epsilon because of this, they will get added up and the field will be sigma by epsilon. Now, at the center of these sheets, potential is zero. So if you take a point, so much above the sheet, so the potential gained will be sigma by epsilon into L by two. Why potential gained? Because the electric field is downwards. So as you move up from here, the potential will increase. And how much will increase? Sigma by epsilon into L by two. So above any point is sigma L, sigma L by 2 epsilon potential it has compared to the zero potential we are assuming at the center of this plate. And the other field, uh, the other potential will be due to this pair. And due to this pair, again it is flipped. So what answer we got for the previous question, we will just put a negative here. So previously the result was positive of this quantity. So we just put a negative sign there and we add sigma L by two epsilon. So this is the potential at a point above both the plates. Now below the plate, this quantity will be same because this is due to the pair of these hold plates. But because of plates, the complete plates, the field is still downwards in the whole plate. So if you go down, potential will drop by sigma L by two epsilon. So if potential above, if we take it as sigma L by two epsilon, then potential below the plates will be minus of sigma L by two epsilon. So below the potential due to the infinite sheet will be minus sigma L by two epsilon. And due to the hold pair of sheets, it will be, it will be the same, which is minus two pi this whole quantity. So plus sign here is for x greater than zero and negative sign here is for x less than zero. So once again, I'll explain, we were given two round plates 
and we were to find the electric field and potential at a point above and below these plates. So we super by principle of superposition we took the infinite plates and we cut out the rest of the <laughs> rest of the portion and just inverted the charges. So if you just add these two, you can imagine that you will get this because this negative charge will cancel this positive charge, this positive charge will cancel this negative charge and you will be left with this disc on the top and this disc, this disc at the bottom which is this. So field and potential due to these two plates we already calculated in last question but the charges are inverted so we'll have an inverted sign here and inverted sign here also and then the field due to the plates, infinite plates field and potential due to the infinite plates. So field is zero. So we did not add anything here. And potential, if you go above, it is plus sigma L by two epsilon. And if you go below, it is minus sigma L by two epsilon. So again, we are assuming the potential at the center of these two sheets to be zero, which gives our answer.